What? All right, good morning. And today's topic for morning mindset is excuses are not reasons. Hmm. Well, I couldn't make it to the gym because derp, derp, or derp. You couldn't make it there because you physically could not get there. Your vehicle was not working. You had a broken leg. You were in the hospital. Or I didn't feel like it. Or I felt like doing something else. I recommend reading. I recommend that all of you take the time to actually read. To take a book. I know those things are made out of dead trees. And not a fiction book, but a non-fiction book that contains information and education. All right? Information. Flip through there. Do it. Oh, I don't have I don't have time to read. I just oh my, my schedule's so busy, I don't have time to read. Horse crap. Horse crap. You do have time. You're just making excuses. Excuses are not reasons. Well, I really wish that I could fill in the blank. Ask yourself. Be honest with yourself. Look in the mirror. Are you not doing what you want to do or what you should do because there is a valid reason or because you are giving yourself an excuse? Excuses are not the same as reasons. All right. So the next time you find yourself offering up an excuse, stop, pause, ask yourself, this is gut check time. Is this really a legitimate reason or am I just making an excuse because in today's world, that's the easiest thing to do is to offer excuses. I'm not here to listen to your excuses. If you have a reason, drive on. Excuses don't help you achieve. Excuses don't motivate you. Excuses don't help you go forward. Are you done playing over there? Yeah, I'm done playing. Okay, he's all done playing now. Periscope got a behind the scenes shot. All right, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, thank you very much for joining us for this week's Morning Mindset. Remember, the next time you're tempted to make an excuse, gut check. Say, is it a reason or am I just making excuses for myself? Your homework assignment is super simple. If you haven't gone to studentofthegun.com yet, click down the orange button that says seven training tips that can save your life. Please do that. We do all kinds of things. What do we do between, between the last time I talked to you and now, we did the Daylight Savings special, right, Jared? Yes. Yes. And you know how everybody knew about that? Because they were on the email list. They were on the notification list. And when Jared does these super specials and cool things, often you don't get any warning. It's just, hey, this is what we're doing right now. You want to take advantage of it? Yes or no? So if you're not paying attention, you might miss out. And I know you don't want to miss out. So click the button, drive on. And oh, oh, thank you to my friend Glenn from Cube for the excellent coffee. I could bathe in this stuff. It's that good. Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce Glenn's last name. I think it might be Jabroni. So thanks a lot, Jabroni, for the coffee. All right, we're going to... Uh, everybody, I want you to comment where you're from. Where are you listening from right now? I've seen Nebraska. I've seen uh, Australia. I've seen the uh, Antarctica. I've seen Ohio. Really, someone's in Antarctica? Yeah. No, seriously. Seriously? Yes. Sure. I didn't. I didn't know they even had internet there. Of course, you have internet there. It's it's planet Spokane, Earth. Spokane, Washington, Pennsylvania, Saint Paul, Minnesota, Slidell. You're close. Taxman five hundred four, uh, North Carolina, Saint Louis, Missouri, New Orleans. Las Vegas, Oregon, Antarctica, California, sorry, Oregon, uh, Tennessee, Ocean Springs, Mississippi, uh, Kansas, Houston, Texas, North Idaho, Ohio. That's that's a bunch of different ones. Brazil, we got a Brazilian. Brazil. Vermont, sorry. Uh, Tennessee, Scottsdale, New Hampshire. All right, we're gonna go from we're gonna roll into the Q and A session. If you have any. Any questions for Q's Professor or Paul? Yeah, Q's. If you have any A's, then okay. Why don't we roll into a T and A session? That would be more fun. Hey, Roger's on from Biloxi. The toilet. Oh, he's on the toilet. That's nice. Not not Roger. There's comments coming in so fast, I can't really read them. All right, we got questions. Are we in New Orleans? No, we're in Biloxi, so we're pretty close to you. 
Oh, if you're a grad program member and you're not signed up for the upcoming uh, Beyond the Band-Aid class, I want to know, do you have a good reason or do you have an excuse? I even, I even gave up payment options. Do you know any SO? Do you own any SOE gear, and if so, what product? Yeah. <laughs> well, why was my cock hidden? What was the I'm not allowed? Oh, uh, have a great weekend. Stay safe. We got Africa. We got somebody from Africa. They're still answering the previous question. Represent. Yeah. No questions. Come on, quick. Let's go. We got. Uh, we 30, got a new radio. Thirty more seconds of questions. They're coming in so fast they can't read them. We love you. Sorry, guys. I, I should read more. I can't read that fast. Are you Are you missing them? Is that what's happening? Yeah, they're they're scrolling so fast I can't. Here's what we'll do. This is all right. What I'm going to do for you hippies out there, because you took the time to ask all these questions, is next week on Student of the Gun Radio, we're going to do a Q&A, and I'm going to go through all the questions that you asked today, unless you're retarded, uh, and we're going to answer them. No, no, no. Artisan retarded. Artisan retarded. Yeah. That's for you, Joe. He knows. You know who we are. Josh. Josh. Yeah. I'm sorry, Josh, Joe. That J guy. Yeah. J-O. There is a Joe in it. Where can we get the t-shirt? PipeFittersUnion.com. Peace out, heavies. Bye, Matt. Alright, we're done. Woo! Off of Periscope.